What's up guys, Knife Fanatic here. Hope all of y'all are having an amazing day. Today we're gonna be unboxing a knife from Kaiser and this is the Kaiser Beglider 2.0. We have an N690 blade with a black stone wash finish and copper scales. Got our standard paperwork in here with a cleaning cloth. Our knife and some extra hardware, nice. Oh, the tape was really kicking my ass there. <laughs> All right, so this is the Beglider 2.0 with these really nice copper scales. Um, first off, this this knife does feel heavy. I mean, you're not gonna buy a knife with copper scales if you're looking for a lightweight knife, first off. Uh, I already knew going into buying this knife that this is a relatively heavy knife. Uh, let's actually go ahead and throw it on the scale real quick before we whip her open. So 4.9, about five ounces. That's, that's pretty he heavy. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open her up. Oh yeah, that detent felt really nice. Again, we have a black stone washed N690 blade, which that might be the model number there. I'm not sure exactly. Sharpening choil and plunge grind aren't the best, but we'll make do with that. Have some really nice jimping right here on top. Nice drop point blade with a pretty high, uh, drop point it's not the lowest tip but not bad we have nice access to that liner lock there we do have some internal milling there as well i we have two standoffs here open construction with a deep carry pocket clip that is reversible we have a paracord lanyard uh hole here We'll check blade play. Solid lockup, no play side to side or up and down. One thing I forgot to check real quick. Oh my goodness, that was extremely smooth. Uh, blade play looks, sorry. Uh, blade centering looks on point, looks, looks great there. And all we have is these thumb studs for deployment, but Oh my goodness, guys. Oh. Wow. I'm extremely impressed already. The like they nailed the detent and the action on this is bananas. This is a, a guillotine, like look at that. The action is so smooth. It's riding on bearings, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Wow. Um, ergos feel really good. Get a full four finger grip here. And you can kind of choke up here in this little area, but. We'll go ahead and get some measurements real quick. Uh, 
uh, overall length looking at about seven and three quarters, maybe a little bit hair, a hair longer. Oops, sorry, I forgot to check the blade length, the cutting. Uh, cutting length, it's gonna be looking at about three and a quarter. Again, we checked weight, which was about 4.9, five ounces. And man, I, I can't even explain how nice the action and the detent on this are. Let's check retention on this pocket clip. Really nice retention. Deep carry, you're gonna have about, you know, just barely anything sticking out the pocket. The access to that lock bar is fantastic. Wow, if anyone has one of these knives, they will understand how this feels and they will agree 100% how good this action is and the detent. Really nice thumb studs as well. They did a great job with them. They're not pokey or anything. They're very comfortable. Wow. Solid lockup. Let's do a couple of size comparisons real quick. This is the Vosteed Raccoon, the CJRB Pyrite, the normal size or regular size. Really nice chamfered and, uh, contoured edges. It just feels great. There's no rough edges anywhere. And I think I might do a shipwreck patina on, on these scales. I think the shipwreck patina looks absolutely amazing. But I'm not sure. I might just polish them. Who knows? I'll play around with the copper scales a little bit and see what I think of them, but I love copper. I think it looks fantastic if it's polished, if it's patinaed, it don't matter. We do have a captive pivot, pivot screw here. Really nice large cutout for the thumb stud there to get your finger in and offer a fantastic flick. Uh, I'm not too familiar with N690. This is my first knife in N690, but uh, from what I've seen, I believe it's pretty similar to 154 CM. So, and I think N690 might have a little bit higher corrosion resistance to, uh, than 154. But yeah, guys, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Knife Fanatic out.